Hello, hello. So it's just number two. We're back with Medieval Two. It's been even longer than uh, I than CK Two because I just started that one like yesterday. And now, oh, are Archibuds is allowed? Yes, they are. So I should answer that. Uh, Zas is here. If you heard. Hey, what's sigh. up, what's up, ladies and germs? Germs. <laughs> Germans. Germans. Zaz is ready to fight an army of angry Germans, but I think I have to go through some Turks first. I do. To go take on Atomic the Great and his Turkish force. So, uh, I'll bring you guys back when we're in the battle, but actually, wait, I should probably show you my uh, composition. So, Zaz knows this, because we had a battle before that was ruined by some <laughs> But I have, uh, these six Cav, two Generals Bodyguard, two Gothic Knights, because Imperial Knights are capped at uh, two and a Teutonic. Oh, yeah, Teutonic expansion, by the way. And uh, so one pair of rider, One pair? <laughs> one single unit of riders. Uh, Pavi's Crossman, and then a mixed infantry. Of course, my beloved religious fanatics. Hopefully, they're pagans, but I doubt it. <laughs> because, you know, they're German and also wearing a cross. <laughs> All right, I'll bring you guys back when we're in the battle. We finally done it. It only took 17 years, but we've done it. Oh, boy. I guess I get to fight for a hill. Against Atomic the Great, I'm gonna lose. I think. Seems seems the same for me. Aw, he'll take him, buddies. It's adorable. Yes, sir. I have to make sure I use my riders effectively, otherwise, I think I'm dead. I mean, I have my infantry is super strong, but please tell me you brought more conquistadors than you brought uh, of Knights of Santiago. Yes, I did. Good boy. Absolutely, yeah. I've always liked them. They don't have like you know the raw charge of like a Teutonic or Hospitaller, but they love a good melee grind. Yeah. I'm gonna try to stick to this side here. I think. I don't want my archers that thin. I want to have a more condensed line. Because I'm probably going to have to rush. Let's do that. Is that better? I still... I can't see! <laughs> I have this wide area with trees and... Yeah, I guess that's going to be as good as I'm going to get it. Man, if you're happy to upload it again, I guess I should show guys my uh, Milan build that I found from another guy. He kicked my ass with it. It's good troll one. I'll try to show yours, but um, there's a good chance I'll be rushing into battle. You see, when I record live, ideally what happens is one battle gets just delayed naturally. Mm -hmm. <laughs> such that I can just so happen to watch it. But it's so much more efficient than uh, recording the replay. Which is honestly one of the things that made recording so hard when I stopped. Yeah, you got you gotta keep an organic, you know, like voice commentary going, and that could mess everything oh, up. I left the well, religious fanatics in the woods, but honestly, by mistake, they're in a better spot than I probably would have ended up putting them. <laughs> <laughs> they need to go off and pray, and they just happen to be in the perfect strategic position. I really wish I could just like <coughs> make all of these people just pagan. I don't know why, but. No, I do know why. It's CK2. CK2 is made me hate Catholics, so I don't want these religious fanatics to be Catholic religious fanatics, but they are. Mm, maybe your Germanophilism has been misguided then. Maybe the Lithuanians had it right all along, hmm? I never doubt the Lithuanians, boy. But you would choose the Germans before them when chips were down. I would choose the Germans simply because I speak their All right, I'm. When's this gonna get going? I'm itching. I'm itching. Let's find out. What is it? Number sign P, right? Yeah, I think so. Uh, waiting for those two again. <laughs> Atomic the Great spent exactly all his money. Wait a minute. Did I read that right? You only spent thirteen thousand of your funds. I'm going to... Almost 14,000. Yeah, I don't want to... I'm trying to um, limit myself a little bit, you know, force myself to play more tactically. 
Yeah, Honestly, the, but that's not going to make you play more tactically. It's just going to make you weaker. Well, yeah, it's, it's, well, you, well, it'll make me weaker, but, you know, like, it'll force me you know, to use each unit to its fullest extent, you know, and um, well, I mean, upgrades are expensive, and, like, all these units would be very expensive upgrades, so, and I have a full stack, so I'm happy with what I got. Well, I mean, you could have gotten, like, I don't know, better Cav. What's wrong with Cav, what I got? He doesn't have... Oh, upgrades. no. This better not be the case. Boy. Okay. We're good. We're good. Don't worry. He'll be dead soon. They'll all be dead, Swiss man. Will they? Waiting on Novgorod only. This could be very easy. I don't know how. I mean, for you, Zavs, I don't know how good Novgorod it is. Novgorod. I mean, they're one of the main factions in the campaign, so obviously they got enough stats all around to, <laughs> you know, put them in like a top three or five. I'm not sure where I'd place them actually. They're a little bit more functional because of the two-handed glitches, less of a thing in expansion. So they. You know, the uh, Pradesh Axemen, you know, they're, they're such a cost-effective unit. They were even so in their vanilla. Well, yeah. And, the, you know, the Dismount de Devoir has always been one of my favorite units. But you do have, you see, you have Pavis, which are still decent enough that you can kind of negate or reduce the effectiveness of the Devoir if he doesn't. Devoir are no good, or like archers are no good unless they are u being used mid-fight. They're not good in a skirmish because given how cost effective like Pavis are, they're going to be losing more, but they're going to be wasting your ammunition, which you'll run out first, mm -hmm. and wasting your troops <laughs> when they'll be wasting a less expensive troop, and then they'll come to the melee where they'll have a sizable advantage. By yeah, just well, it's having ability it's to always, shoot down calf. Yeah, yeah well, it's always a it's always a balance of you know knowing where you want to trade most. You know, I try to focus on you know one decisive blow, things like that. Yeah. When again, my macro has always been terrible. I'm tr I'm gradually trying to improve on it. Warhammer kind of spoiled me a little bit because a lot of these glitches that you have to compensate for just aren't there anymore. Like for example, you don't have to like group your entire infantry line and. uh tab your way and make sure like you know to so your whole row attacks in a single line right if you just group and lock that group you know they will they will they will attack directly what's in the face of them and so you can maintain battle lines you don't have to worry about ma micromanaging all that stuff you can focus on your cab focus on your spells focus on your artillery I mean, which is amazing manage in ck uh, i don't know why i say CK, in med 2 when you just like use the uh, formation line to do it even so, formation line, but that's the thing that, like, no, if I just click the entire group and I click it on, and I click it on another, if I highlight the entire group and click it on another group, they will attack in you, per, the perfect, I mean, perfectly yeah, that, symmetrical. That is a bit better. Hold on. It's tons better. I just wanted to say, is it not on play? It's banned by the usual rules. I guess he has a lot of cav. All the better. If that's the case, I'll just have to go and, like, lose formation and hope that he can't charge me to death. <laughs> If I lose the cab spam, that'll be quite embarrassing for my channel. Especially after all the things I say against cab spam and how useless it is. That's not the problem. What's the problem? Oh, he's got arc abuses, probably? Yep. I'm bringing none of that nonsense. Or guzna, as I would spell it. Gons. Hankonen. Or goons, as I really need to learn how to type. I don't goons. know why, but whenever I'm recording, my typing gets, like, infinitely worse. Because you're activating a second part of your brain, you're considering, all right, how's the sound on, on camera, like, you know, in that the back of your head? I am yeah, a yeah. terrible multitasker. I don't know. Also, it's already bad, because I'm still used to having, I like, I have a German laptop right now, so the Z and Y keys are inverted on the German laptop. And so really? now when I go back here is I'll type Z when I mean to type Y a lot now. I see. And then I'll type the uh, other one and do it the other way around. Is it a German brand or Windows? Uh, 
Wait, it, it, it's Windows software, but it doesn't matter. The hardware is German. Cool. Nice and fast. I mean, I can now type omelets with maximum efficiency. <laughs> Come on, this has gone on for a bit of a while. <laughs> All right, I, I, should I just pause? The, oh, no. Oh, Hallelujah. Okay. What do we got here? All right, another grow. Oh, he's got a lot of archers. See, now my religious fanatics are in the wrong spot. I'm overclicking, it's fine. I guess I'm gonna have to rush this guy. Based on how he's playing at the moment. Alright, well, let's try to get focusing on his cab, I guess. I'm just gonna have to rush him with my infantry so that he can't, you know, do what he wants to do. Wow! Wow, he took out an entire unit of my cav with just archer shots. Yeah, I strayed a little bit too close. I'm getting eaten too. Damn. Well, this is gonna go extremely poorly, it seems. see how this goes now. I'm gonna lose this, I bet, at the rate I'm going. I'm feeling kind of optimistic about this Novgorod exchange. He doesn't really have serious Riders, infantry no! counter. Yeah, I'm doomed. My cab is gone. Womp, womp, womp. I'm so dead. Great way to start the channel. <laughs> A massive defeat. Oh, let me see if I can make up for it, buddy. Oh, boy. Oh god, I'm blocking my own charge, aren't I? Yeah, this is pretty bad. I mean, I've routed his cat, I've routed his infantry pretty quick. His sugar knights. Let's get my religious fanatics back. They'll come back to save the day. Only half the enemy Jesus is the answer. I need to send some cab to stop these guys from coming back. If I can just kill his general, I might be able to get into a good spot. I don't know, he's still got a lot of archers. Only half the enemy force remains. Where is his general is a good question. Is that his general's unit? That is his general's unit. Charge! We are being defeated. 
We must change tactics. Thank the Lord. Our okay, please tell me that's slain, a, my Lord. We have the lost right general. The army. That's yep. Nope, that's the wrong general. <laughs> it's right for me. Yeah, but I don't care what's right for you. I'm still gonna... It's just the archers. I didn't know that the, these archers would be that effective like this. N nor was I in a good position to really deal with them. But once they're out of ammo, I think I'll still be in a proper position. It's assuming my men last until he's out of ammo. Come on, route! No! I told you to get it like six times! Of course, now they route. Ah, uh, that's bad for me. Got Novigrad nice and cleaned up. Novgorod, excuse me. Well... I need to get my men reformed. Okay, so he's got a ton of archers, but I have quality infantry. He's got a general, but I have quality infantry. I have to take out as many as I can, I guess. Hope for the best. Probably focus firing these Scots guard over here. Yep, there goes my general's unit. Behold how our cowardly foe runs. God damn it. So many. If he didn't have that last cab, I'd be fine. I believe in you, Swiss. Uh, it's still not going to go my way, I bet. Unless somehow I can rout all his men without his general doing a goddamn thing. All my men are Tensions tired, are too. high. It's a long day in the Holy Roman Empire. Maybe now you realize French are the superior breed. No, I'm, I mean, I've robbed at some of his archers. That's not the worst thing in the world. He did bring quite a bit of French archers. Smart. They're pretty cheap. They're not cheap at all. That's the one at the I French archers? Them. Yeah. Yeah, there goes a lot of my men routing. Oh, right, I keep forgetting we're playing expansion, so they probably got another 150, 200 added. I mean, they were expensive in vanilla so, as well. They, they, they were like 700, right? That's cheap enough for what they're capable of. Man, I was not in position to take him on in that, in that angle. Ugh. Mm. Oh, well. Uh, that is the end of my, my army. Slain. Of course, you know, this is that is a perfect army to take on the HRE with, in one way, because uh, my infantry has no defense against, uh, against bowmen like that. I really should have just tried to charge his archers, what I didn't focus on. Also, which would have been hard given the fact that he was constantly uh, shooting at my men. Still got some forlorn hope fighting bravely. Unit, 
Wow, that was really interesting. <laughs> but now I can get this nice close up fight of uh, the Scots Guard here. I yes. will never not. Are you gonna what? march forward? I'm. I'm gonna. I'm. Just, I'm gonna ask Atomic. You know where he wants to set up. You sure? As, uh, like, might as well just come meet him already. Oh, there goes one of my four men. Hope. Oh, there comes the volleys. <laughs> no. Yep. Our army is running from the field. We must rally our men before all is lost. Yeah, the final right. showdown. It's got quite a bit of archers left, I but I'm not seeing much else. I need to know I need to figure out how to defeat this army, because there's with a regular build, of course. Cause I could specialize it, but that's that's not going to help. I need something, a way to defeat it. So the problem was, is I lost an entire unit of cav over here, plus another one before the battle even started, which really hurt me. I think maybe I should have gone for more of a skirmish, but he probably would have... I wasn't set up for a skirmish, so that probably was part of it. Um, you definitely need crossbows to take on this army, because they're more cost-effective, a cheap kind of archer. Uh... What would have done it? What would have done it? <laughs> cool if I hill camp a bit. You could honestly probably just run him down for the most part. The French archers will route pretty quick. Yeah, my uh, conquistador's got shields and stuff, so we should have that in the bag. I, I just mean, can't Cav is still going to go down pretty bad. Yeah, it is. In one volley. That's why i got to be really ginger about this. Just send your infantry forward first. And you'll probably get it. I think my issue was, is maybe I didn't go into loose formation and pressure his archers enough. I just didn't, I don't know how I would have caught them. I, w I wasn't, a the thing is, I wasn't able to beat his infantry by the time that my infantry, my own infantry was too depleted to take his on. Um, and also I, I got my routers, my riders caught and my general caught and they both died. So I didn't use riders effectively. I think probably the best army against this probably would have been like Venice. Really high mm. armored. Uh, infantry. Either Venice. Novgorod also would have done pretty well. Along with the Caraccio standard. Caraccio standard wouldn't hurt. Um... England would have gotten their ass, asses kicked. Probably Sicily as well, because you can get a lot of good, cheap, cro uh, effective crossbows with them. That is true, you can spam them quite a bit. Why are Aventurier, or Aventuros so far up? See if they have a last little bit of ammo they can soak up. Oh yeah, that, I guess that's a good idea. They can't have too much left, they've been firing constantly on my poor boys. Yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm trying, just trying to coordinate a nice big spell pincer movement. Surround them with the cab charge. I really should have eaten that, I feel like. I should have. But Atomic played well, and he got me off guard, so kudos to him. Kudos to Atomic. Great. So, you should probably go to loose formation, honestly. Yep. Oh, wow, that is brutal. See if my general can soak some of it up. So if I lose him, I lose him. Still a very healthy army. I don't know how I would have done it. I think I had. It probably would have been more cav, since I honestly only had a few cavs to do anything with. Because yeah, one of these and they're they're down. One charge like that. Good thing I have relatively healthy conquistador cav. They're nice and fast. Yeah, that also helps with their fast. I think that's that's it. Portugal definitely would have been a good take against them. Just Portugal's good. always a good all-rounder in vanilla and expansions. So, 
it really bothers me in this game that the fact that France is probably the best counter the HRE because they have the bowman, the best bowman, most versatile, to counter the uh, German infantry, which have no shields. And like, also pretty bad morale in context to being shot. <laughs> it's Are you true. Are a rush army? Yep. I mean, people expect it. Yours was over so quick. But yeah, I think I think you're gonna take the game take the game to us on my first battle back. How do you feel? Oh, it wasn't a total disaster for me. Awesome. How did Novgrad play? Pretty good. Um, their his buildup was weird. He focused on lots of archers. His cav didn't really move around much. I kind of had my way with them. It was the guys obviously got a lot to learn. I mean, uh, Atomic did say he was newer, so. It's not a new friend, new player friendly games. And you know, learning between vanilla and the expansions, there would be a curve in both. Yeah. Got triple chevrons on my general. I'm happy. Yeah, wow. Now it is time to crush the I forgot my habit of adding a GG in the text. GG Atomic, good work. Yeah. Wow, I did I, I well I mean I had less to kill I guess, but I still did worse than the uh the new guy. How embarrassing. <laughs> what a great way to start this off. All right, thank you all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.